I'm very excited because in this How Do I video, I will show you how do I use custom email cover layouts in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. In this video, you will see how to create beautiful, professional looking email cover level templates, including images, invoice information like totals, due date, payment terms, and use these when sending emails to customers. We'll get there by going through a couple of steps. The cover letters are created using the RDLC or Word Layout customization features, providing visual consistency with any attached PDF document. We'll follow these steps. First, we'll specify which document layout needs to be used for a customer. Then we'll send and receive email. And last but not least, I will also show you some other message options we have available. Let's get started with the first step, where we will specify document layouts for a customer. We'll do that by using the customer card, and then on the customer card for a specific customer, we'll use the document layouts action to assign which report should use which template. Let's have a look in the application. In this first step, we want to set up different email bodies for specific customers because we know that good email bodies increase the chance of getting payment on time. So we will assign a specific report by customer, which enables us to process multiple formats at the same time. And we'll use the custom layouts on the customer card by document type to do this. And in this example, I'll do this for the invoice. So I start by opening the list of customers and I'll assign this for this customer. 20,000. I open the customer card and after the customer card is opened, as you can see, I use the document layouts button, which opens the document layouts for this customer. You can see here in the usage fields for which report you can set it up. So I will select invoice and then I can select the report which corresponds uh, to the invoice layout I would like to use. You can look it up in the list or you can type it in. The report will be sent to the email address which is on the customer card, but in this send to email button, you can provide another one if you would like to. Next, what I will do is I will use an email body caption. So I select the red email body to be used for this customer. In order to do that, you need to make sure uh, that this use for email body option has been set to yes. So once I do that, I am now able to select a specific layout for the email body of this customer. Now I click on the close button and we have performed the setup for this customer, for the document layout, for the invoice. Now that we have set up which layout is used for the invoice, we'll continue with the second step in which we will send and receive email. And we'll use the send email window to do that. And in this window, you can have a preview of what the layout will uh, look like. And then uh, using the options, we'll send the email and have a look at the result. So in my application, I will now look for a posted invoice for my customer. So I go to sales uh, or I use a role center, which provides me the functionality to see it on my home screen. And I select posted sales invoices. And this invoice has been sent uh, or has been generated to this customer. So what I can do now is I can click on the send button. Now oh, can I open the invoice. I have the same possibilities there. I can use uh, email prompt for settings or use the default settings. I can select how the attachment needs to be attached. And then I also have some disk and electronic documents uh, options if you use those. If I click on the OK button, an email is now sent uh, to this uh, customer using the email template. But before it's sent, you have the possibility to see or to verify the email address, the subject line, the attachments. And as you notice here, the email body template is used and this is how the email will look like. So we can still make some changes in here. And if I click on the OK button, the email will now be sent. So I will go now to the email of uh, Peter Shadow in his Office 365. And as you notice, an email has just arrived. So I can uh, open uh, the email. Uh, for example, um, I'm using Office 365 right here. And as you see, the email opens. I can see the content of the invoice which has been sent to me using the template. And of course, the full invoice is also available here as an attachment uh, in which I can uh, open it, view it, download it, and so on. In this third step, we'll have a look at some other message options because you can switch to a manual written message using the message content field. Or uh, if you use the client, you can also open uh, the message or edit the message in uh, Outlook. Let's have a look. 
So in the application, I go back to my posted sales invoices. In this case, again, the same invoice for this uh, customer. I'll use the send button. Uh, I will leave the option on prompt for settings, otherwise the email will not prompt for settings. And instead of using the email body templates, I will now use the custom message option. And then I can type in uh, a message. I already prepared one. Uh, let's have a look. Hi, Peter. Please find your invoice attached in this message, the accounting team. And now I can also click on the OK button and the email will be sent uh, with the same uh, invoice. Now I will go to my Outlook inbox and here in the Outlook inbox you see the second message has arrived uh, with our text that we provided manually. So instead of using the email body template, uh, we were able to manually edit the message and open the message in Outlook. Let's summarize our steps. We started by specifying a document template, in this case for the invoice, a custom template that needs to be used for a specific customer. Then in step two, we sent the email and had a look at how it was received. And in step three, I also explained how we can use a custom email message. In this video, we covered the basics of using custom email cover letter layouts. We created an invoice email cover letter and sent an invoice to a customer. To learn more, please visit the following resources. Thanks for following this uh, short video to explain how to use custom email cover letter layouts in the application. This video in the How Do I series for Dynamics NAV is brought to you by Microsoft and Platan. See you in another one.